soon as the BBC decides to do a new dinosaur programme, it probably takes a whole matter of sort of a millisecond or maybe a second before people start thinking of walking with dinosaurs. It's 11 years since it was shown, but it was such an iconic programme that we need to kind of take stock and think, well, what have we learned from it? What can we take from it? And what can we sort of like adapt and improve upon? One of the constraints at the time was shooting back plates. So which means you're kind of placing the camera down and allowing the movement to essentially play out. You tended to have a number of shots that were quite languid and they'd be sitting there. The dinosaurs perform, in essence, in a stage. And the thing that we wanted to make sure that this series was at was make it much more subjective, to make it much more immersive. And the way to do that, we felt, was to actually move the camera a lot more and get it more dynamic. Now, the only way we could do that was actually to make it entirely CGI. You can throw the camera here, then throw it over here. You can change your camera positions and perspectives more often and more dynamically, taking the same devices that exist in almost any drama, but applying them to dinosaurs. But because we don't have any dialogue, what it essentially meant is it's all through action. So our cut rate now is that much higher. Each shot, on average, is something like two and a half seconds. And that's what we wanted this programme to be. We wanted to make it much, much more subjective, much more visceral, much more kind of dramatic and in your face.